In today's video, can we continue our expansion in the north and hold back the tide of Adrissian sieges that are plaguing us right now? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. Last time, we managed to take a foothold in Italy, which is awesome. Revenge for Pyrrhus. Over there in the north, the Adrissians are quite thin and not exactly that strong. So we're hoping we can push against them. They are just sieging down so many settlements though, which <laughs> it's a bit of a nightmare for us right now. Um, so we may have to use this extremely damaged army to try and take on some of these smaller Adrissian armies. Whether we can get maybe some mercenaries available around here, let's have a look. We'll wait a turn anyway, so yeah, there are mercenaries available. Unfortunately, they are all missile mercenaries, not exactly the greatest mercenaries you've ever seen. Um, but before we get going, guys, I just wanted to say a couple of things. So we are on episode 33. Now, when you see this, the update may already have been released by the mod team for 0.6.4. So we are going to go to episode 35, guys. That is going to be the finale, but don't... Um, don't uh, leave yet because we are going to be doing lots of different things. We're going to be trying to, when you always get to the end of the campaign, guys, you can start to blitz. So we are going to be trying to blitz down the Adrissians. That is one of the aims. Can we take out the Adrissians? Maybe, maybe not, not 100% certain. It would also be nice to take Metapontum too uh, and, you know, sort of square off this area of Sicily over here and see what we can do. I think that would be fantastic. We've also got this army coming back for retraining, and then they're going to get sent across. I've decided to leave these rebel settlements. If we were carrying on longer, we would take them, but for now, we're going to leave them be. But first things first, because we are going to be blitzing the Adrissians, let's get our Thracian army into the action, guys. They don't seem to have much looking at this. In terms of infantry, in fact, they've pretty much got nothing. So we can just leave the Romfei Fulroy to do what they want to do and absolutely savage these guys. So let's get going, guys. Now, we've managed to get through the gates, guys, but it looks like a lot of cavalry around here. So what I'm going to do is try and get my Thurio Fulroy through first as our only spearman. And then we're going to use these guys to try and flank. So let's see how that happens. I've also turned off unit banners, guys. So let me know whether you like that. I think it looks a lot more realistic now without the unit banners on. You can just see the troops. And to, uh, when I press space, the unit banners come on so we can see if anyone's routing. All that sort of thing. So I think that's going to be quite good. Let's see if we can uh, maybe secure the front here. And we're going to send these boys through and see whether we can smash the enemy here. That's going to be good. Fun. I mean, they don't really have much, do they? So, it should be nice and easy, but you never know. You never know, guys. You never know. And they're all starting to route, which is pretty nice for us. So, we're just going to keep coming. It's pretty much just going to be the horde approach here, guys. <laughs> Come on, Romfe Fulroy, get going. We're going to turn everyone on fire at will. Who's dying a little bit there? Who, how are you dying? Oh, from, from the slingers there. I think the slingers are AP, aren't they? And then the rest of you guys, we don't want them involved. Let's have a look. They're routing too. So let's see. May have to turn this uh, this off, but we shall uh, we shall find out, guys. Uh, because just so I can see what's going on. It does look a lot, a lot more realistic, which is very nice. But uh, it is also quite nice to see what's actually happening. But uh, yeah, look at this. Just the horde of troops <laughs> coming through. Go on, boys. Kill them. Should be really easy. Should pretty much just break these guys pretty nicely. In fact, I am going to turn these back on just so we can see. Although it is nice to, uh, of course, uh, have a bit more of a realistic feel to the battles. Come on, Thurio Foray. They've not even broken those Thracian slingers. This Thurio Foray can then uh, get around them then. No problem. And then these boys, they can just come and kill whoever's in the town square. This should be really easy. Come on, boys. Everyone fire your jabbies if you want. That would be quite funny. They do have their royal bodyguards here. But uh, honestly, don't think that's going to be an issue against the uh, the Romfai Foroi. So there they go. They're going into the fight. Fight them. There we go. Fire, boys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. Let's see how we do. 
Well, here we go, guys. The horde has reached the center of the city. <laughs> Absolutely just savaging everyone. I don't know where they're... I think all of their bodyguards are down here. Why is there two full banners? I didn't think they had another army, right? Like, normally there's still only one big banner. That's interesting. I've never seen that one before, but... I didn't think they had anyone coming from outside the city, but uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess we'll have a look at the end. Uh, but yeah, th we're absolutely just just savaging them now. There is there is literally nothing that we can do uh, to lose this. Very nice, absolutely fantastic. There goes all of these troops. Come through, guys. Come through. You guys get over here to try to stop them getting onto the town square. You are fast, so it should work. Um, but there we go. A glorious victory, my friends. Glorious, glorious. Well, it does look... 206 doesn't seem that, like, good for us. But we did, were just charging through with absolute hordes. And yes, they only did have one army. So I am surprised by the fact that there were two general banners. I know they had other generals in there. But normally, those banners will still be smaller. So I wonder whether it's something to do with turning them on and off. But a glorious little victory. Let's keep going. Move on to the next settlement, my friend. And for public order reasons, guys, let's enslave so we can move on straight away. Of course, let's destroy this. This is actually a really good settlement for cavalry, mind you. Very nice. Let's uh, pop in a temple just to keep them happy for the time being. And who do we want to leave behind? Probably one of the Agrianians. So let's... Um, Swap in with a few. 30 Agrianians is not bad at all, but can they be happy? They are plenty happy, in fact. So if we go for Tribalopolis, they still will border all of these settlements. So they will keep on sieging them down. How much? How many troops do we have here? I'm wondering if we just send like a little detachment across of just like Romfei Foroy and whatever cavalry we have. So, Stoby, unfortunately... Yeah, these guys are still happy. That's fine. Uh, still getting more Thracians. Like, this army isn't amazing, but it's pretty good. Like, it should be able to still take on the enemy. Although, without a general, it's going to be a little bit tougher. So, let's see if we can get across there. They're also going to have not much movement points without a general. Let's pop that Greek archer in there. That is fine. So, yeah. Let's move straight on to Tribalopaloop. Tribaloopy doo doo. Did you get a retinue from that? You did. Thracian aristocrat. Oh, very nice. Let's have a look at that. So, a Thracian aristocrat. This man has agreed a marriage between a woman from his family and this Thracian noble. The new alliance, which has been signed through marriage and other productive pacts, will allow this man to gain influence and maintain good relations between our faction and a powerful section of the Thracian aristocracy. Nice. One influence, one command when fighting infantry, one command when fighting against Thracians and Dacians. That's actually insane. This guy has loads of influence. Not much command. Um... But he has also won the Olympics. What a boy. What a boy. What a boy. He is a just despoiler as well. Very good. So, yeah. He's, and he's renowned, even though he's not that good a commander. <laughs> but this guy thoroughly embedding himself with the Thracians in his army, it would seem. Which makes perfect sense. That's really cool. Uh, right then. This army, on the other hand. Do these guys these guys do actually have a um, have siege ladders and all that sort of thing. This army is, is absolutely just just savaged. So, because I remember that siege for Adrissa was so bad. Let's see if we can move straight onto these. I don't actually want to fight any of these armies. They're just too small to really care about. But looks like we're going to have to fight this one. They've got Rumfei Fulroy. We don't really have any missile men. So that's going to be a bit annoying. But we do have a lot of cavalry. So let's get into the battle, guys. Oh, you never get sick of this music, do you guys? It is absolutely fantastic. I just sit here and just listen to it. <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. Right, let's... Um, they have probably hiding in the grass over here. So let's come forward. Let's also get these guys forward. We do have this Hippocontistai, which we'll use to harass the enemy for now. We're going to use all of our troops, no matter how damaged they are. Because we could do with everyone, really, to be honest. So let's uh, speed that up. Let's have a look. Probably going to be jumping out of the grass anytime soon. As you can see, they can hide in long grass. Very, very good rosters. Um, 
so yeah, it's gonna be uh, gonna be really really fun to see if we can uh, we can do the same with a Thracian roster when we get round to playing the Thracians. So let's keep coming forward. We've got to be fast because they do have missile troops, as you can see, savaging our one of our lower lower units. I'm gonna leave that 16 men behind. And here we go. Let's move forward. Let's keep coming. Let's bring you guys forward too. And we're going to get our cavalry around this side. So we've got one cavalry on this side firing at the enemy. And we're going to have this cavalry on this side so we can spring the trap and absolutely destroy them. Should be nice and good. As I say, I'm going to keep these guys on guard mode for now. I don't think they liked taking all of those. They have Thurio Foroi as well. Where did they get those Thurio Foroi from? Wait. So they got AOR Thurio Foroi in here. Okay, they have targeted uh, one of our weaker units. <laughs> poor guys. Poor guys. Fair enough. That was a good idea by them. They didn't quite manage to break the boys though. So uh, that's good for us. Let's get into the fight then now. Let's bring you guys around. You are just taking fire from everyone. Oh, you were not on fire at will because you came from a city. Well, that's a bit of an oversight, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> I really wanted to try and destroy this whole army. So what do we have? We have Thracian archers and stuff and Greek archers in here. They should be relatively easy to kill. So let's keep our Thessalians in there because our Thessalians have heavy armor. So they shouldn't struggle against them. The enemy general is fleeing now. Let's get their Hippocontistae. There we go. Breaking them. Nice and easy, boys. Nice and easy. Now, what is that? That's a Romfe 4. I don't want to charge into them as of yet. So let's just pop out for a second and just calm down and see what we've got on offer to us. You guys get off guard mode. Go there. You guys attack them. We're going to keep these guys on guard mode for now because we're going to use our cavalry, of course. And we're going to go for a big charge on their Romfe 4 because remember, these Romfe 4 they don't have spears. So they aren't actually that good against cavalry. I don't know. Do they have a... I don't think they have a bonus against cavalry. I can't remember. Let's, uh, let's actually see that. So, there we go. Can hide in long grass. Frighten nearby enemy infantry. Uh, yeah, I don't think they have a bonus versus cavalry, which is good for us because it allows us to do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get going. Straight in there, into the back of this Romfe Foroi. Go, boys, go charge. There we go. Instantly broke them. And then let's get out and go for the next charge. Looks like whatever this is, that's a long spearman. Oh, long spearmen are trash. I know they've got spears, but they are trash. So, <laughs> and then all we've got left is a Thurio Foro unit. You guys get after them. And that should be everyone. There we go. Fantastic. Glorious victory once again. Nice and easy. Hopefully we can move on to the next units um, that are sieging us down. And just stop them sieging us down in general uh, because it's quite annoying. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Well, there we go. A pretty nice and easy victory, my friends. We They killed 100. We killed 675. Very good indeed. Right then, guys. Let's keep on moving. Let's go to Brinkinos of the Tribali. Let's also probably just auto-resolve that. Should be nice and easy. We only lost 12 men in the auto-resolve there. I think the sensible thing to do is to retrain this army because it is so, so damaged. Now, they are definitely going to siege down these places once again. But that's fine. We've still got a few turns. We'll then have this guy coming up ready to fight. How about you? Do you have siege equipment? No, not yet. Good. Well, this little army is going to go and deal with them. So, yeah, in the north, we've done a fantastic job. How do we know about so much land over here? Somehow, look at the map. We can actually, we know about that land. I don't know why or how. Have we sent a ship over there? I don't know. And then anything else we want to do? I mean, this army would be good to get moving. Although, weren't we waiting for some garrison troops? Where were we getting those garrison troops? We're getting garrison troops there. We were getting garrison troops in Leprion. That's two more turns to go. So is that. That's four. So when that's done, we should be able to get some garrison troops. I'm going to get a spy here. Let's see. Can we get... We are getting a spy there. Let's get another spy there. Oh, we could get an assassin as well. Let's get a 
Uh, we're getting spies everywhere. Good. That's fantastic. That's going to allow us to see this land and maybe open the gates. Uh, and good commander Archilochus is now fantastic. Well, let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see what happens. And once again, Anchises the Wrathful. What a boy. He is going to be fighting against Anaximander the Steadfast. Oh, that is a cool name. I do like that. Once again, I think it's, it is Maranea, right? We have defended Maranea so many times. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, hopefully we have enough in terms of phalangites to hold hold the um, hold the areas, but I guess we'll find out, guys. So this time we are not going to defend the walls at all, guys. I'm just going to let them take it, and we are just going to defend the town square. I don't think it's worth when we have so few troops and they have so many armies around us, wasting units to just slow them down on the walls. I think they're all going to arrive, so we just need to... Uh, Need to hold the line, shall we say. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone to cover the back, but we do have a lot of cavalry still, and it's all pretty darn healthy and well-experienced, so that's going to be glorious, my friends. And as usual, the AI is just being dumb, not taking all of these towers. They're taking a couple of them, but not all of them, so <laughs> as usual, they are just getting shot as they go along, uh <laughs> which is good for us. These ones, of course, are all theirs. Now is the moment of truth, though. Like, which way do they go? Sending their Thorakitai, which is quite an elite unit, around this way. More Bob. Both of their units of Thorakitai. And then it seems like the rest of the army is coming through this way. I really am not too worried about this. I think we're going to be okay, especially with keeping our cavalry in the back here. I think we're going to be able to uh, absolutely savage them. If they do want to send people around the back, they're going to get shot to pieces by the towers. So, yeah, really, really not worried um, about them sending anyone around the back for now. Well, the first javelins have been thrown, my friends. We do have uh, Halkaspides on the way over this way. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult, I think, because they have their own phalangites uh, involved in the fight. But we have a double line here of phalangites, as you can see. So we should be make doing a lot more damage than that. Oh my god, what are you doing, you idiots? You idiots! Why? What? Everyone get on guard mode now. Now. <laughs> what the hell? Why did you just do that? You are our main line, you absolute imbeciles. They, they weren't even touched by them and they just decided, ah, no, you know, pride, we're just going to walk up to you. But yeah, it looks like we're going to do okay over here. Have you guys fired all your jabbies? Keep firing, guys. Don't Don't stop. Fire at the goddamn Progemoy. You guys too. Oh, you have used all your jabbies, so we'll keep you behind. There we go. That's better. Now we actually have a line of troops to fight their phalangites. <laughs> so this is just phalangite versus phalangite. Where are the rest of them, though? Oh, they're still coming. They're probably still getting shot by this tower. Yeah, there we go. They are still getting shot by this tower. 304 are coming through this way now. So it is just Phalangite versus Phalangite on this side. And seeing whether we can win the Phalangite battle. It's getting a little bit messy. But um, hopefully we do win. We shall find out, guys. We shall find out. Over on this side, we are literally Gandalfing them then. You shall not pass, Thorakitai. They're not even getting close enough to kill any men. So that is fantastic. We did set up these guys on the corners here too. Just in case. Because these gaps, they can actually get through there. Uh, but you can't really set up troops there like so. So we've just got these guys on the corners. They can actually fit through this gap as well. As you can see, this guy's slowly moving this way. So it's just to make sure they can't break our lines by coming around the side at all. Uh, but yeah, the phalangite battle has devolved now. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. That is really not good. You were supposed to be on guard mode and they seem to just be able to push through. Hmm... It's not ideal. Guys, guys, come on. What is this? What is this? Get your bloody spears out. These guys all around this side are really confused as to what to do. Come on, guys. Phalanx mode, please. Phalanx mode, please. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like their uh, crisis speeders and their chalk speeders are going to be able to break through on this right-hand flank. So we might have to reset the line. I'm going to bring this guy across. 
So let's bring him across. Come on. Get moving, my friend. And we're going to reset him here so that there is actually a phalanx for them to fight against. Because, as you can see, our guy's not really in phalanx right now. Uh, in fact, not at all in phalanx. So that's going to be tough if they do decide to try and break through that way. Well, now we've got these guys in place. They are starting to actually uh, hold the line a little bit better. This, this side, they can't pass through. It's just this middle section here, as you can see, that's become rather a mess. So getting this extra phalangite in here is really going to make a big difference. Because their Chalka Speeders are still in phalanx mode. So our guys need to hold phalanx mode here for as long as possible. Over here, they are starting to maybe creep around the side. But they really cannot do anything. They do have some more troops on the way. Thurio, Fulroy, and some Chalka Speeders. So once the Chalka Speeders are in... That's going to be what we look for. But look at that. Crisis speeders are now broken. Good. Fantastic. We've now got Ambrakiotes in the action, plugging the gaps too. So these guys are there just to plug any gaps that may come up. Their general is all the way over here just getting shot. Well done, Seleucids. That makes me sad. <laughs> and it is turning into a real dogfight over here. We're sending our Ambrakiotes back into this gap here. Can you see the... The disconnect between this phalangite and this one. And we're just going to put them in there. Apparently they have to walk really weirdly some weird directions. But um, we're just going to fit them in there to see whether we can hold the line here for much longer. Oh my god, they're getting their uh, jabbies out. That's rude. Don't do that, Thurio 4, right? And that should really help plug this gap in here for now. And every time this gap gets smaller... We are just plugging it with Athamanium Peltas, which are not the best unit. Over on this side, the Thorakitai has managed to make its way around this way. So we may have to get some cavalry in there to fight at some point. But for now, this guy is holding relatively well. So that's the main thing. Once... Is that Thirio Foroi? Oh, these guys are in now. So what we're going to do, we're going to send some cavalry around the back. To see what we can do. You guys can also use your javelins. Might as well. I'm going to send our cavalry this way. And see whether we can get them from around the back. We're going to keep some cavalry in the center. In case they do break through. But for now we're going to send them around the back. Uh, to charge this whole bunch in the backside. And of course all our men are pretty exhausted now. This gap needs to be filled ASAP. So we're going to send. Come on Athamanians go. Apparently they don't want to attack. Go. <laughs> Why are you glitched like this, sir? Go. Go. Kill the high bastards. Kill the high bastards. <laughs> and these guys, we're going to get them through. We're going to get them all the way there. To here. So that hopefully they have a really good charge when they charge into the back of these units. We shall see. Their general has managed to make his way all the way to the front. So if we can kill him, then charge. I think we might be able to mass route those guys with the morale shock. So, well, let's find out anyway. Well, Cavalry, it's time for the charge. Let's just see. Where is their general? He is there. So hopefully, if we can kill him... Let's speed it up a little bit. Let's see. He's there. He's right there. Surely he's going to die. He is the Steadfast, and I can see why. Anax Anaximander the Steadfast. Come on. Come on. Kill him. How much, how much punishment can this guy take? Right, now we go for the charge. They're still all eager. They're all fresh as well, whereas I guys are all exhausted, which, of course, never good. But it looks like we have pushed these high pastors back somewhat. But look at that on the, on the side. We're getting flanked now. We're getting flanked. One of the units has collapsed on the side, or it's just down to so few men. You guys need to get over here. Uh, yeah, get over there. And then we need to destroy them. How has that charge gone down? Well, we've broken someone. That's good. Now they've uh, reared their uh, ugly phalangite heads. We shall uh, move away because I am not taking the phalanx to the face. That's not that, that's not the idea here, guys. <laughs> Why are they routing through the middle? That's never a good sign. Yeah, some of them, they're breaking that way. That's so weird. That might help break some of these units, though. So I don't mind it. That's fine. All right, let's go for the charge on the Halka Speeders. And uh, let's see. Speed that up. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Bang. Well, that was quite a good charge. Killed a lot of them there, actually. Didn't even manage to get them too wavering, though. 
Even with this unit being broken. Okay, there we go. There's the 304 already broken. They haven't got their phalanx out yet. So for now, they are all just shaking. I think one more one more glorious charge, and we should be able to break them. You guys, these uh, Athamanians have actually been insanely good. Look at that. They've really shored up this and pushed the high pastors back. That is insane. Well done. Great job, guys. This, this unit really doesn't want to fight. I, I understand why, my friends. I understand why. But uh, it would be helpful if you had a bit more uh, bloodlust about you, shall we say. <laughs> Right, let's go for a final, uh, one more charge on these Halka Speeders. And let's see. I think the Thessalians scare people, don't they? No, they don't. They're just, they're just a very good unit. It would be cool if they did scare. Look at that. There we go. How was that? No, just still just shaken. They're not really, uh, they're not really willing to route yet. I mean, we still have very elite units in here. So they are, they have a lot of uh, morale. Maybe not the Halka Speeders themselves, but... A lot of the other units got a lot of morale. And over here, we are managed to, managing to hold them. 19 more minutes and they've run out of time. Um, but I'm not bothered about that. I just want to break them so we can kill them all. <laughs> so again, guys, let's go. One more big charge. Is this going to be a better charge this time? Oh, it looks like it. Good enough to break two units. Get into the Thessali, uh, the Thorakitai then. Go, 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 men, go. Yes, yes, that's what we like to see, my friends. That is what we like to see. Let's kill them all if we can. Go on, boys. Right, now we're going to come around this way. And we're going to charge whatever's left of this in the back. Glorious, 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 my friends. Well, there goes everyone. So we are going to chase them down. There is no point in not chasing them down. Send one of you, you... You. Uh, anyone else of interest? No, it's mainly just these guys. So, yeah. Good. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. Very nice indeed. Glorious victory, my friends. We did destroy them. Problem being now, I don't think that we are going to be able to um, hold off another army, shall we say, if they do come again. Um, Ankisi's the wrathful. I think Ankisi's needs to become Ankisi's the steadfast, to be honest. What a glorious defense. And as expected, guys, they have seized us down again. And they've come up this way too. Well, um, oh well. <laughs> well, another candidate for adoption. Uh, he is relatively fine and he's 24. So let's accept him. Where have we got civil disorder? Oh my God, 36%. I swear this was on 70% last time. Um, let's have a look at this. Unrest, 60%. That must be spies. Uh, where are my spies? Let's um, have a look then. There's only one spy, so there's just a lot of unrest. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of that spy, though. That would be very good. Where was the other civil disorder? In Imbros. Oh, of course, in Imbros. Do we need to repair that? We'll repair the temple, but we don't need to repair anything else. Um, yeah, and we're still besieged. Oh, yes, and Syracuse. <laughs> they have a few armies about now, guys. Um, I'm thinking we do some border manipulation, though. Uh, we had a lot of uh, troops get recruited, so we'll have to have a look at that in a second. But once we've taken Tarentum, which is, of course borders uh, Uzentum. They, this army should not want to take Uzentum anymore. So, we will take it. We'll probably just auto-resolve that. We don't need to... Uh... Oh my god, no, 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 no. I pressed the port there, did I? Oh well, well at least we've got another time. Oh, Bias is a general here. So I'm wondering if we can leave him behind. That'd be good. And let's go up to Butuntum. That's a funny name. Doesn't quite have the movement, Alexander. Um, and I was thinking of renaming some cities after Great Alexander himself as well. So there is a couple of units that still need retraining. Honestly, though, doesn't matter. What's in this army? Who needs retraining? A Thurio Foray and a Cavalry. Oh, well, we, we need to move. We need to move. We cannot stick around any longer. So let's go. Let's go and relieve the siege and finally let 
and Kisi's the wrathful rest for a second. You guys are going to have to come back for retraining. I know it's a bit of a pain, but it's going to have to happen for now. These guys, are they training still? No. So let's keep on going with some more troops. We've got Agrianians there. Got Agrianians there. Uh, don't do that. Let's go for some more Romfoy Foroi. And these guys are on Thracian Noble Cavalry. Where's that little army? So they have broken the siege off there. I'm thinking this little army, though, comes along and takes Tilatialalo. Let's go for that. It's going to take you a little bit of time. You guys can siege this down. Let's auto-resolve that. Like I say, shouldn't be too much of a worry. Uh, are there mercenaries available? That would be nice. Let's have a look. No. Hmm. What is this settlement? Oweskus. I think that was in the previous version of the mod. So, yes, there should be mercenaries available. Let's pop you into there. How unhappy are you? Pretty unhappy. Let's also pop you in there then as well. Let's join up with the army and let's go after Oweskus. That's going to be a pretty good prize for us in the north. Because it is a large city up here. And it is their northernmost city that they have, I believe. Oh, apparently they've got this one. But is that my spy? Let's go and have a look then. Oh, they do have a Saldensium. But I'm hoping this army will go and take that. And then we've got a nice border along the river. Well, a bit along the river <laughs> until we get to here with Pontic Pentapolis. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Good. Very nice. I'm surprised these guys are happy, honestly. <laughs> Let's uh, make sure that we repair the walls so they can't just walk in. Oh, they've got a Temple of Dionysus here too. Nice. Good, 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 good. Let's go for the Temple of Aphrodite. Just a, a bit of extra boost to the population. And Euenus has become wealthy now too. Right, let's go through our recruitment then. So we want to recruit in Ambrakia. Let's keep going. I'm going to repair all of those ships apparently too. Uh, but let's recruit in Ambrakia. You are going to Fenike, right? So let's move the... Uh, guys out of Fenike. Let's go in there. Let's repair all of these. Fantastic. That was just enough. Just enough. Was the rest of this army Thessalians? Yeah, and they're not damaged at all. Fantastic. Well, good. Uh, and let's keep on recruiting down here. I think we've nearly got enough for another army. Let's go for a Thessalian. That's three, four, five. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, we don't really have any missile troops here, so probably worth getting some missile troops with this army. Let's go for the Athamanians. The Athamanians are actually a fantastic unit. I've been very, very impressed by how good they have been. Um, let's keep on going, though. What else do we want in here? Potentially some Zistaphore. Now, let's go for some Greek archers in there. Thermon, still recruiting governing troops. Leprion is as well. We've got this battle to do. I'm probably like I say, these smaller battles, guys, we're going to auto-resolve them with the end of the campaign coming up, so we might as well, you know, um, do some bigger battles so you get more chance to see some of these bigger battles. Um, 20%. Not good. Is there mercenaries? No. How about if I go anywhere else? Mercenaries? Mercenaries. Oh, there is a load of mercenaries here. Let's go for some, some of those boys. Let's see if that is enough to make them happy. It is. Fantastic. Right, let's join up. Let's get on the ship. Should have got on the ship a bit earlier. Now, what is in this army, though? It is the Salians, so we're going to have to come back around this way to get them retrained. Now, we do have a load more ships... Uh, anyone about this way? No. A few, a few, a few. No one down that coast. So where is the ships that are moving? They're there. So let's uh, join up all of these ships. So we've got a, a pretty big fleet. Just to make sure that, of course, they cannot um, destroy this fleet with our nice army on. In fact, that is a full fleet. Nice. Well, this guy can come and join this fleet then. Across this side. 
Um, so for Nikkei, we've got an army that's going to come across this way. I accidentally just stopped that siege there. You're, you guys are going to come across and help out against the Syracusans, uh, which will be fine. In the north, what have we done? You're moving. You're sieging down. You guys... Yeah, I mean, they're not going to build siege equipment this turn, so we should be fine to get rid of that siege... How about here? Yeah, still one turn to go until we can actually train anything. Also, we got a load of spies, didn't we? So, we can't move you, unfortunately. <laughs> You're stuck in there. But let's come and have a, a wee gander around. They've upgraded a lot of these cities. They're pretty big now. I'm thinking with you, though, let's... Yeah, we're not actually in the city now. So, let's just have a, a little look. Yeah, it all looks fine. I think they've conglomerated most of their armies over here. Let's just check if there's any more coming. No, it's pretty much all good. So that's great. Uh, and let's do our building, guys. I think the first time in this whole episode we've done building. We've done a lot of uh, a lot of battles, haven't we? Which is great sort of thing to end on. Oricon. Let's just get them happy. Make some extra happiness. Farsalos will go for an academy. Lucas over here is trying to discourage, keep them happy. Odeon over this way. We've actually not got a single huge city, I don't believe. Yeah, we've not got a single huge city in this whole campaign. I mean, how many turns are we in, though? We're only in about 100, you know, 135 or something. So that does make sense. Hopefully the next campaign, which I believe we're going to do as the Liberni, um, will allow us to go a little bit longer. Uh, maybe go to 50 episodes and see whether we can get it to be nice and epic like the Seleucid one was. I think this has been a very successful campaign um, as well. I don't think it's not been successful. I do think it's been very successful. So, yeah, no, it's been a really good, fun campaign. And we have clearly become the hegemon of Greece. And that was the aim from the start, was to, of course, replace Macedon as the hegemon of Greece and do them one step better, which is to become the true hegemon <laughs> of Greece and take all of Greece. And in, in fact, we've taken much more than all of Greece. We've gone up north into Thracia, out east into Thracia too. We are now on Crete as well, and we are now in Italia. So I think it's been a very successful campaign, if you ask me anyway, if you ask me. Comment down below which your favorite moments of the campaign have been, guys, as well. That would be awesome. So, yeah, really cool. Let's uh, pop that in. Hiskana. Let's go just for the Odeon. Hmm. Dionysus would be good. And then we've only got 9,000 left. Now, Pactos can actually upgrade. Well, we'll have to remember that for next time. Next turn, should I say. Let's just go for that up here in Amphorina. 5,000 gold left. Uh, Academy, probably not worth it. Let's go for that instead. So let's end the turn there, guys. Fantastic. And let's see where we get to. And Histria has died. That is most likely at the hands of Pontic Pentapolis. So, yeah. Fortunate. We got a... Ver uh, one of our governors actually died. That's unfortunate. Um don't think... Oh, we do have this guy. So let's stick him in there for now. There's a city for you to govern all by yourself, my friend. All by yourself. Mr. Broccoli has a doctor. Nice. Uh, and we are the most advanced faction. Well, that is a very good uh, sort of thing to sort of get to the towards the end on. I wonder if there are any huge cities in the world. Probably a few Roman ones, maybe. Hmm. We had a lot of places actually upgrade then. Ambrachia got the Megas Hippodromos. Oh my god, now, which will allow us to get elephants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that's going to be the last couple of episodes when they even get into the fight. But, um, glorious. We finally managed to get elephants right at the end of the campaign. Oh dear. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, we've also got the recruitment over here in Kaidonia. Let's start popping in a few of these boys. Diapolis up here in the north does have a recruitment center, but apparently nothing to recruit from. Oh, we need a, uh, a practice range for that. We also got kicked out of uh, Madua Tenopolis, but they didn't put anyone in. So we're just going to 
do that. <laughs> well done. Well done, AI. Well done. <laughs> right. We are going to go and relieve this siege. So let's pop across there. This is one of our worst armies led by Ephestionas. But that's okay. Let's come after Tlulup. Hmm. Oescus. Let's probably auto-resolve that too. 504. Don't mind. It's fine. Let's enslave here too. Let's also see, are there mercenaries? There are more mercenaries, so let's get these boys in there. I think, honestly, that the uh, Adrissians are pretty much done. So, you know, um, auto-resolving these sieges shouldn't be too bad because, yeah, they've, they've not got much left, have they, guys? They really do not have much left. I mean, if Pontic Pentapolis is not going to take Saldensium, we're going to go and take it then. Nice and easy. A uh, bit annoying that they're unhappy. Let's repair that and build a temple. Let's go for the Temple of Aphrodite. They also have a spy in there. So if they took the spy out, if we can try and shove them out of there, we should be okay. Um, they're still going to siege down that, but they shouldn't want to siege it down too long once we've sieged down these areas. So yeah, we should be good. You've moved there. You are going for retraining. Could also do with more troops. Could do with Thurioforoi, honestly. Or what we could do is send down some of the Thracian boyos to fill out the army. I think that's going to be the option. Let's do that. You've moved there. The Seleucids have sieged down Adrissa. That's fine. The Seleucids are just a bit of a mess, aren't they? <laughs> Ptolemies still have Inos. How have they done that? Fair play. <laughs> Fair play to them. Um, yeah, and I think we're good. Anything we want to do in the north? I keep I keep thinking the Seleucid things are ours because I love them so much. They're not ours. They're not ours, guys. <laughs> right, let's get our monstrous navy through this way. You guys are going to go into there. I believe, wait. Can we retrain Athamanians here? No, we can't. Do we have Athamanians that need training? We do. So, and we're going to obviously restock this army with as much of the people as we can. Any that we can... Oh, there's honestly no one we can merge, so we're going to be here for a couple of turns, unfortunately. But we will restock that army with new troops, so that's going to be worth it. Everyone in here is now trained and ready to go. So let's pop you on this ship. How far can you go? Not far. I think the safest thing to do is just to pop you off the ships. Um, let's go and try and force a battle with that army. That's probably going to be the best option. Let's keep on training here too. I think we are... Yeah, we're out of sync there, unfortunately, but that's okay. Right then. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. We need to just do that Seleucid battle. And yeah, I think we're pretty good otherwise. What's this troop doing? Well, this navy... Oh, wait. This navy has a... Uh, has guys on it. So, let's get... Once that one, uh, one turn's ended, let's get reinforcements across onto Italy. That should be good. And I'll do the building off camera, guys, so you don't need to watch it all again. As I say, towards the end of the campaign, it matters less. So it's more about just keeping everyone happy, really. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just do that, and I will see you in a second, guys. Well, apparently I forgot about the Sicilian movements. So let's uh, auto-resolve the Siege of Tarentum. 936! You are kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, these guys are Dorian, so they should be a bit happier with some Greek rule. But, God damn it, 936. <laughs> Never auto-resolve, kids. Never auto-resolve. Right, we are going to send that army back then. Um, because they have some pretty large, large navies around. You're going to pop across to there. Can we try and bait and switch them with anything else? No, probably not. 
That should stop this army wanting to siege them down. That's fine. But we do have a brand new fresh army over here on the way. Not many missile troops, but we've got a lot of cav. So I think we're going to be okay against them. Syracuse has really, really uh, been very, very expansive. Uh, we also need to do those that have upgraded. So we'll do that next turn. But glorious anyway. Tarentum is a bit of a mess, honestly. So a bit sad to see Tarentum in such a mess. Because it is a glorious city with some glorious history. But anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's press the end turn this time. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm surprised I, I forgot to move those guys. I thought I had. But anyway, it's fine. Well, the Seleucids are going to take Adrissa here. That is no problem. Let's auto-resolve that. We killed a few men. But uh, yeah, Seleucids really trying to uh, to bring the pain, shall we say, to us. And we forgot to do that battle. What, what am I doing, bro? Hmm. Well, this is actually interesting, though. Look at that army. It is a mess. It is a mess. It doesn't even have a general. This army does have elephants, though. Huh. Let me just have a look at how it's set up. So they've attacked from there. So these guys should be coming in from the... So Alexander's army should be coming in from the back right. So if we just set up facing the back right, we can squish them against the edge of the map. I think that's the, the option. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Just trying to see the settlement in the distance, because normally you can see them. I think it's probably hidden behind one of the hills. Hmm, settlement is on the coast, so it should be down there somewhere. So I think they are going to come from here. And if they are... We have a prime opportunity to do some squishy McSquish squish. So let's get our guys right here. Yes, that is technical language, by the way, guys. Squishy McSquish squish. Very technical. Um, let's uh, let's group our guys up. If they don't come in from there, we'll just turn around and we'll defend because we can defend. We can afford to. We are the defensive army. So yeah, we can afford to defend. No problem. Um, especially with the uh, phalangites that we have. So let's see. Well, they actually came from the middle there. So we are going to hug box a little bit. I know it's a bit cheap and cheesy. But we've got armies coming from two different directions. So we kind of have to. <laughs> let's be honest. Elephants as well. Let's keep you off. Get off fire at will. And again, we are just going to defend here. We are just going to defend. So, I'm going to get you guys there. You guys there. I think we can even afford to tilt even more. For, for the uh, first attack. So, let's do that. Let's tilt even more. You guys defending this side. What I'm going to do is get these Athamanians over this side. Ready to fire at any elephants that might be charging. Which looks like they're coming already. So, yeah, let's uh, let's properly turn to face this whole army then. Does leave our other flank exposed. But they're going to be a while getting here. And I can protect that flank with the cavalry, I would assume. So, let's get all of these guys forward again. Come on. Come on, boys. This is it now. This is it. This is a big, 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 big battle. Luckily... Oh, no, it's Deuteroy. Where are the Ambrachios? Oh, they're on the other side. <laughs> I was going to say, luckily we have Ambrachios on this side. But we do not. <laughs> so, a bit of a nightmare, but oh well. Let's get our uh, Cretans in the back here. Right, as soon as those elephants are in range, I want you to fire at them. Fire at them. We're going to keep you on guard mode so you don't chase after the enemy if you can't hit them. Come on, boys. Fire. Fire at the elephants. These are war elephants, too. They're not just standard elephants. Looks like one of them's dead. Two of them. Oh, my God. Javelins. And they've gone mad. They've gone mad. They've gone mad. Fantastic. Well, that was rather anticlimactic. But that has really set us up for victory for the rest of the uh, the battle. I'm still very much worried about that left-hand flank. We may have to swap the, uh, swap the Greek hoplites over to this side. I think we'll do that. There we go. Pisidian javelin men getting absolutely shredded. 
But here we go. We've got Thurio Foroy coming through. We've got Carrion Heavy Infantry. Looks like they've got a... I mean, they've got a decent mix of uh, mix, mix of guys. We've got Galatian Swordsmen. Got those guys hiding for some reason. Standard Greek Hoplites. Thurio Foroy. What are they doing? Like, why are they running away? Come and charge me, you fools. Come and charge. Come and charge. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, my friends. Uh, because you're definitely not. <laughs> if they are waiting for the other army, that is clever. I will give them that. I will give them that. Let's uh, speed that up. See, I don't really want to move my lines. Problem being, if we move the lines... Oh, who is firing at them now? Okay, they're, they're coming. They're coming. I was going to say, if we move the lines, then we have a bit of an issue. Uh, being the fact that they, they get a bit out of kilter, really. So best thing to do is just to, to hold for now. Going to send the Athamanians around there. Those Galatian swordsmen, weren't they the units that just absolutely died routing in the, the right at the start of the uh, of the campaign? Catch them. Go on. Go on, boys. God, I hate skirmish of Cav. I hate skirmish of Cav with a passion. There we go. Through that way. Through that way. Through that way. Okay, this is good. This is good. We are holding the lines pretty well. Let's use our Athamanians to flank for now. Like I say, they've been a fantastic unit, the Athamanians. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. Oh, wait. You guys are fighting them now. So, let's turn. Fight them. Fight them. What are you doing? I've accidentally selected the Hoplites. You guys fight them. Hoplites come this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Set up these guys here just to protect the flank for now. Let's see if we can spl uh, slightly just sneak our cavalry through this gap here. Because in the back, they don't have much. And they have no general member, guys. So uh, that is a carrying heavy infantry, though. So it's a little bit of a scary unit. What is this? Asian cavalry coming back. Come on, bro. Not what we want or need. Not what we want or need, honestly. Okay, broke them now. Can we sneak through here still? Can we? It's going to be tough. We've got Galatian Warbands on the on the prowl. Come on, boys. Let's go. Just just run. <laughs> okay, they're going to war cry, so they've kind of missed their opportunity. That's good. That's very good for us. They have Seleucid Zista Foray here too. Okay, one of, the, one of these guys is getting absolutely broken. Let's go that way. I'm assuming just being shot. So let's bring the Athamanians this way. Okay, is this the 4-way's deaded? Let's go. Let's try and break some of these little Pussio units, like the Progemoy, etc. These Galatians just don't give up, do they? Massive cavalry engagement on this side, guys. Massive cavalry engagement. Let's go. <laughs> look at all their cavalry just running. Run, you fools! Flee! And look at this. Look at this. We're getting fully flanked on this side. We need to mop up this way ASAP. ASAP. Fight those Galatians. Go, go, go. Go, men, go. And this cavalry really needs to start working well now. Let's get the Peloponnesian hoplites out of the way. I don't care about their missile cavalry anymore. What is this? Mercenary hoplites. Get lost, my friends. Get lost. They have no general. Where is their general? Actually, nowhere. Oh, so as soon as you turn, they always do this. Can we break them? Now we turn. Now we turn while they're, while they're turning. And there we go. Look at that. They have fully flanked us on this side. These Athamanians have been absolutely destroyed. There's, there's a general, Alexander. Okay, this, is, this, might be a, this might be a collapse of the lines here, guys. Might be a collapse of the lines. What is this? Kill those mercenary hoplites. What is going on here? Like, what is this? Kill these fucking guys! God damn it! My generals died! No! Where even was he? He was in here! He was fighting fucking Progemoy, bro! He was fighting fucking Progemoy! Luckily, the uh, the lines are all kind of holding. He was fighting Progemoy! No! 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 What a fool! Heroic die. Ifestionas died fighting Progemoy. Well, I think we are about to collapse, honestly. 
Although this flank seems okay for now. Huh, this is this is tough. This is really tough. We're kind of being flanked on both sides. So we've just got to hope that we can either kill Alexander, which would be good, or we can break this block of blobby, blobby men. Alexander is this army's general. So what I'm thinking, let's try and catch him out and kill him. You guys are fighting the Carrions still. Okay, yeah, we're just holding the line with them. That's fine. Don't worry about them anymore, guys. Let's go for the glory charge. This is all we've got. This is all we've got, guys. This is all we've got. And all we can do at this point. We can just hold the lines that we currently have. If we can break this block, that would be good. Let's try and kill their General Alexander. Let's see if we can break them that way. They've got a load of units around here, including Crisis Speeders, which are a bit of an issue. Their General... What are you doing, man? Come on. Come on. They turn still. They always turn. And therefore, they're still steady. God damn it, bro. God damn it. Let's get over there. Come on, general unit. Let's go. Let's get over there. What is this? Mercenary Asian Light Spearman is their general of the second army, so I don't think we need to be too worried about whatever they've got to offer. But god damn it, bro. What a mess. Oh my god, their, their general's coming to party, and it's a Mercenary Asian Light Spearman. I know they're spearmen, but we should shred them. Okay. We didn't shred them. Oh, no. We may be screwed here, guys. We may be screwed. This is going to be very tough to come out of. Luckily, these lines are generally holding. Okay, they were generally holding. <laughs> everything I say, everything I say right now, I think this is going to be a big defeat. Turn to face the general. I want you to kill him. No, they, they're running. They're running. They're running. No, you've got so many men, Deuteroy. You've got so many men. And once again, the Deuteroy collapse. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Well, several missteps in this battle, I would say. Um, especially losing the general was the big one. But he was fighting just bloody Projoboy. Come on, bring this general in. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Is that the actual general? No, it's not. The general's all the way back there. God damn it. Oh my god, the Deuteroy just collapsing. All down the line, they're collapsing. God damn it. This is... Oh my god, no. No, no, no. <clears throat> well, there's no way we can win this. Look how much troops they've got left. <laughs> so, yeah. The best we can do is try and kill Alexander. Let's speed it up. Kill Alexander. Okay, this Deuteroy's holding on for a bit longer. Alexander's just walking to the back. That's a good idea for him. Turn around, turn around. Ah, what a mess. What a mess. And Alexander's not even going to die. No. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. This has been a terrible, terrible, terrible defeat. We actually didn't kill too much less than them. But they started with, what, about 800? No, 700 more troops. So... Fair enough, but as soon as the general died, that was it. We were curtains at that point, so... Oh, dear me. Not not the one we wanted, really. I mean, a lot of them... We inflicted a lot of casualties on them, but... Yeah, not the one. Not the one, guys. Well, guys, another general. We definitely need them. They are 36, though. That is a bit of a problem. And we, of course, have some serious unrest over here because a spy has joined in again. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Imbros, come on, bro. Uh, Imbros is just incredibly annoying. <laughs> just go away. The Idrissians are also quite annoying because they're not consolidating their troops into big armies. They're just literally just sending these tiny little hordes to try and take our lowly defended settlements, which I suppose is good tactics. But yeah, not amazing. Oh, the Thessalians are not... Retrained. Uh, we'll go into there. Retrain all of them. I mean, he's going to have to wait one more turn. Oof. Unless we send some of the other Thessalians up that have been trained. Which we could do, to be fair. 
Let me send those four. Six. And get up there. That's okay. I think we'll take that. We'll take Archilochus. And that is now not quite a full stack, but it's pretty close. Ah, the Seleucids are just a pure annoyance. <laughs> and that battle is going to be quite annoying as well. What's the... Uh, let's see what happens. 312. Don't mind. Like I say, the, the Adrissians are pretty much done at this point. So... Yeah, 50% even without a garrison. Let's uh, let's see. Any mercenaries? How about across the river? No. So let's leave behind maybe a couple of Athamanians. This army is, is pretty much done, though, at this point. Ah. 65%. That's not bad. That's not bad. It should be okay with the wall. So let's go with that, too. Should be okay. And this army now can join up. Let's pop on there. Let's just do that. And let's send you back to Bailazora. This is a problem now. A lot of our armies are retreating quite heavily. How upset are you? Quite upset. How about if we leave here? They're still happy. Good. And how are you now in terms of the city? 65. Oof. Should be okay next turn, but that's okay. Um, yeah, the Seleucids have just been the bane, haven't they? They have been the bane. They don't like us not being Macedon, apparently. Oh, Euenus has an epidemic of dysentery now as well. Oh, well, that's not good. Hopefully we can get back to the, <laughs> the, the thing as quickly as possible. It was not a heroic death for F. Ifestionas, but, you know, uh, we've had a few places upgrade, so let's uh, pop those in. Oreos <laughs> has upgraded. We also had a couple of others, didn't we? So, like, Stratos. Yep. And Pharsalos. Let's pop those in. Glorious. That's a lot of our money gone. Euenus is now very wealthy. Nice. And the Ptolemaic Kingdom is now the most advanced faction. And we are now recruiting Elephants. Fantastic. Yeah, Imbros should be happier now we've got level 2 recruitment. Because it is recruiting them to Ionian, so whew, we just need that to upgrade, really, so that we can uh, assert our own culture. We're not recruiting anything here, so let's uh, keep on going with recruitment. Don't want a Greek hoplite. Let's go more Thessalians, I guess. <laughs> um, and what do we have? Some Umbrachios. Let's go for some more. And then, yeah, we are actually recruiting more units in there. And, of course, we're recruiting elephants over here. You are going across to Fenike for your retraining. So, let's pop you in there. Glorious. Don't think we need to retrain the Thessalians. Not enough of them. Uh, anyone we can combine? Yep. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. <clears throat> and we have this battle to do, which we will do next turn. So, let's uh, auto-resolve that. Let's just exterminate now. Uh, I'm not worrying about the public order of these uh, these places. They are Italian after all. Let's go for the Temple of Dionysus. And then we need, we do need to get these guys across. I'm going to take all five of them. That leaves Thermon undefended, but that's okay. And yeah, let's... Let's bring them across because we need to be garrisoning cities with them. So for now, what do we want to leave behind? Probably a Deuteroy. The Deuteroy are not so good, are they? And let's go on low. What do we want to do with this army, though? I would think go after Megapontum because it is a large city. So let's go for that. And we probably are going to get attacked there. This guy can go and take out Captain Anaxorgas. They, they don't even have a general. Do have Cicel Thurio Foroi. They're not an amazing unit, honestly. They're fine, but they're not amazing. This army here, led by Pyrrhos the Conqueror, they are going straight back to Knossos, aren't they? Then we have these Thessalians. They will be ready for the next army, which we can probably scrape together because we need more armies in the north. <laughs> We've got the Thracian army coming down south. We've got um, Anchises, the Wrathful here. 
Whether we can defend against any of these Seleucid hordes again, I have no idea. This army, though, Ifestionas's poor army. I think we're going to just run away. <laughs> um, any... Do we have that load of ships across here? I thought we had some ships somewhere. Well, if you go to there, can you still make it back this way? You can make it into a port. I wonder with the army in. You can actually make it there. Glorious. Well, you're going to have to go and retrain at Pella as well. And that's another army on the road. But I think that's it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Some good progress in the north, but also some bad <laughs> progress as well. Um, so yeah, a bit of a mixed episode, but we are pretty much retraining about 10 armies right now. So as soon as we get them moving again, next episode, I can assume there will be a lot of battles, guys. So if you do enjoy this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And I will see you all again on the next video.